right, here we go. Um, I'm in tomorrow. We've got Rome just here. Uh, they have only one defensive army in place. You can see by just the two pips there below. We are at three and a half minutes before reset. I'm going to jump in and I'm going to unlock. I'm actually going to have this one all the way filled up. But I'm going to do what's called a flash fill because I want to wait until a little bit closer to reset to fill it up to give them less warning that I'm doing so in the hopes that they will not fill going back the other way. We're going to drop over in modern. That's going to be me. Keep in mind everybody gets four drops. Chris Wood has the other two. So we're going to drop here and I'm going to leave it to them to re-siege and fight because I'll be in tomorrow. Uh, we'll see with as many troops as I've got defending I might be able to place the siege a little bit because it'd take Rome a while to get through me. Um, that's kind of the plan and then we've got some all ages action after this. Here's your all ages again. Mikey has not filled yet, just the two. And with the full bubble there, it'll take him a while to fight through that if he comes after us. Alright, we're getting down to the two minute mark, so I'm going to go ahead and fill up. I'm going to do a little bit of a mix here. Usually I am just about all about tanks. But I know that tanks are commonly used, and these guys are a pain to the tank. Um, don't want to burn all my tanks up, so I'm going to throw in some tank rogue combos. Not very good when they can take their time and pick off the one tank first, but when it's just a couple defending armies in the mix, um, they have to go really slow in order to pick which ones and often have to retreat from the armies they don't want to fight. Alright, so that's set. No other action really to take except to come fight and boot them. At reset, we're at 59 seconds. So I'm jumping over to modern. Modern is my responsibility to drop tonight. Lots of messages flying around. Awesome. I'm going to wait till we get just a little closer to drop. Note that you drop by hitting Grant Freedom. You can call this screen up and have to hit Grant Freedom a second time to do the actual drop. And so I'm going to get myself in position here. We'll drop this one in about 15 seconds and the other shortly thereafter. I guess I could have dropped at 10 and still had time, except that was weird, so let's do that now. Weird things happen. It's hard to be really tight sometimes. We are now into reset. You can see the timer has dropped to zero. It is calculating the power for everybody from everything that they have done, including Guild Expedition and Hall of Fames and all kinds of good stuff. All gets assigned to the guilds at this time. I'm going to go back to the main screen and then jump into the screen I want to be in. That causes the timer to reset. If you stay in for whatever reason, the timer just stays where it is. So here we are. And it says my bubbles have dropped already. Could that possibly be? I don't know. That was freaky weird. Here we go. I have never seen reset clear so fast. Alright, so again, they're not fighting back, and even if they did, it's going to take them a while. So I'm conserving by doing change outs 
so that my wounded troops don't die. If I was in a hurry, I'd fight again, and I'd lose some troops, but it would go faster. As I told CW, I don't actually have any light troops in this age, which makes it really easy to grab the rogues. Just rapidly clicking through my changeouts. And Rome's not here to bother me to try to fight back. Alright. We're almost there. Switching over real quick just to look. You can see they have two pips left. One pip left. Just to finish it slightly wounded but there it goes and I didn't lose anybody so it's all good jumping over to modern sieges are up all artillery in and away we go that one was one did you see the error and that one was one see neither one cleared but they are both ours it's just there's a lot of glitches in the game Jump out and back in, you can see the green bubbles. Over to tomorrow. And Galactic did fill the dirty dog. So let's do something different. And let's go fight up here. I could have left that artillery in, but just so that I'm ready for other things that might happen, I'll go ahead and go with the virtual future artillery. Let's position this well so that my button's in one place and I can just click. see it's starting to overlap because I'm clicking too fast so one click one click two clicks one one and two one one and two one one and two one so just a nice pattern there one click to auto two clicks to hit OK and to bring the auto back up You can see Wargasm fighting up above us, again against the guild that didn't bother to fill and isn't here to defend. But those are beach tiles and so nobody really gets to claim them because we just hit again, land and land. A little nervous because I can't see Galactic as we're fighting over here. trust them because of what's happened before. Okay, clear that out, move over. Oh good, that's us. I saw the sword pop and I wasn't sure if somebody else was trying to sneak in. And there's Galactic behaving themselves nicely next to Foyu, next to Sparta. We'll see what happens. Let's see, they're almost full. I know I should be up fighting, but I want to check out the yeah, other one army short of being full there. Alright, so again, position carefully to the right spot so that you can auto. And just click your way through. Kind of laggy, not popping up as fast as it could. due to all the action going on, probably all the fighting that's going on around us. He said we have artillery. Oh, yep, he had to throw that in. So I'll finish fighting this one, put the rest of the guild down to the next one. 
let's drop seeds for them real quick. I want to use my attached, which come up first, and see they don't have that yellow bar. There we go. And I can keep fighting this one. not everyone's necessarily in guild chat to see what I'm writing. And Mikey's probably just looking for an excuse to come after us. We shall see. Each pip actually represents 8 armies, not 10, because there's 10 pips and 80 armies in each tile. Repositioning. Here we go again. pretty well. I will pause before we get to the end and go ahead and lay the next siege. Alright, so this is something else that's interesting. I open the tile, I go change out my army, and because I place it as a siege, I actually get back the army I just changed out from. See, there they are again, and can continue to fight. Bump back up and just finish this one real quick. I see one pip, so that's eight armies or less. Don't know how many are in it, and I'm not positioned well. Look at me. There we go. And it's done. And we have one left. Again, I'm not positioning well, so let's just get it in the middle there. And here we go. to see those shields flying like this. Somebody hit us. That was interesting. Let's jump over here real quick and just see unknown guild. So I don't know who that is. And really, all that means is that this is not somebody on my friends list or in my neighborhood, because otherwise they'd be identified. Sorry, and also that they're not landed. If they'd been a guild right next to us, it would tell us the name of the guild regardless. Foyu and Sparta are going at it. You can see Sparta over here taking a safety. And they've dropped a tile with just one army. They quickly win it. So that no matter what happens, they have a bubble to protect them. I 
let's see what they want to do. To go back real fast and just pull up my spears. Not knowing if Mikey or anybody from Galactic is here and or will defend that tile. And you can see spears train really fast. I want to go check and see who else has been fighting with us tonight as well. I think Furio is here. Jamel, I think, said she could not make it. And often that's all we have. Uh, Sly and Frodo both are at a women's group tonight that they lead. So it might just be three or even just two of us. So my spears are all good. I'm going to jump back to here. Now this gets weird, these things disappear sometimes, see how it says the guild siege army damage, sometimes they'll come back and be blank. So I'm going to jump over here real quick, and I'm going to see Chris and Chris, me, Chris, Chris, me. Yeah, looks like it's just the two of us, and again, you saw us fighting, we fought so many, oh, there's for real, and yet I only have two pages of fights. So I'm going to close that out. I'd just like to keep my screen minimized. Idea what will be in the tile. Attack with caution. Be ready to re-siege. And again. I'm going to start off with this army. So I've got that one up. And switch to my attach just to get these guys really fast. But knowing that I'm going to have to change out armies afterwards, I'm going to go back to this default so that I'm ready for other armies. So I place. And I didn't position them, but here we go. Alright, yeah. So this is weird because of what it is. Yep, they're already fighting back. I don't know who's hitting me though. Could just as easy be Foyu or one of those guys as opposed to Mikey. I only saw the one hit. So they might not have realized it was me and then backed off when they realized it was. This is why it's important to have so many troops because here I'm fighting seven or damaged. Ooh, that's a bad one. And I'm able to change them out. Remember, a damaged troop is just fine. We'll come back to full health. So I'm going to try my tanks for a bit. Just see how I do there. They're stealthy. So they fight a little bit better. This is going to take a little bit of time. I'm sure my boys have seen what I'm up against. And so they are not fighting because they don't have troops high enough in age to mix it up. That was an interesting one. Alright, note that I haven't really positioned this that well to fight. Somebody's hitting me. Let's just go look real quick. It helps my strategy. It is galactic. Okay. Barely hitting, so I don't know. They're just picking up speed a little bit. Will he resiege? I asked him to. He's not done this before. So let me go grab more attention. 
Forge Spears. And go ahead and do so. I'll just try to press on a bit. They did not see, they, uh, nope, they did not fill. They're still just at the seven armies and just still hitting my spears. So we'll see. Like I said, I don't know what I'm up against. As far as who's on the other side there, I really don't think this is Mikey. Just because I would expect a much faster retaliation along with sieging me if it were him so I'm trying to remember where that bar is yep, there it goes a little faster oh nice so again no receipt oh there it is hallelujah Did that with one less army than I should have had. Not a good thing. So again, try to remember where the tanks are in the line. Alright. So, let's see what we can do here. Something a little tougher. I don't know who's fighting back. How tough they are. Hopefully that kills a bunch of their troops because they weren't expecting something so robust. See I'm occasionally getting in fights where I'm winning with no damage which is pretty sweet. And then sometimes there is some damage. Again I'm not pushing as hard as I possibly could. Because I want to conserve my troops and not throw them all away. So I'll let him siege spears again next time. Still not quite halfway through his defensive army again. It's kind of rough when there's just one of us. I don't know. So they're not filling. I don't know if that's because I'm sieging fast enough, which I kind of doubt, or if they just two of them and they don't know how to fill, or I don't know. You know, I'll take it. so important to have lots of troops because you can just keep changing out fresh all right hopefully they're a little discouraged so I will drop the spear siege in not sure what your problem is, Chris, but we can't talk right now. You'll laugh when you see this video. They are not doing well against these, which is hilarious. They don't have a good counter for the tanks. They really slowed down their attack. So if 
we can. What I want to do. See, now the other one. Let's just try this one more and then I'm going to switch out to spears. Oh, there it went. So, Master John, Master Talon, go, 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 go. Did they feel? They did. So I need to go heavy and stop them from filling. That took me way too long. I shouldn't have pressed one more fight. So I'll put in my tanks when I'm done. Just wherever they're at. Because that's slowing them down. I have lots of tanks. Yes! Good fill. Or good siege, sorry. Alright, slow down. Let's get this going again. Alright, one more fight and then replace, maybe? Yeah, here they come. So watch this. I'm going to... Nope, I didn't delete. He already got one in there. Awesome. So I need to get a heavier siege in. But he's doing a much better job of sieging for me. But see, now they're getting a lot more going too. Decent fill in that time too. We gotta get better. Come on, George. Looks like I died. Time to reload. Let's see, this is what kills a siege. Because if they've broken it by the time I get back in and he didn't re-siege it, they could have filled it completely. So it's time to stop. And I can't get my chat up. What's up with that? That should move. I'm going to have to pause you for a second, see if I can move you. 